everybody and welcome back to the vlog today is a Wednesday February the 16th and I'm starting this vlog a lot later than I normally do so it'll probably go from evening into morning uh, but I didn't start this today because um, y'all know that last week the tile guys were gonna come and do our backsplash and we got sick so they came this morning at 10 a.m. and they just left it is let's see it's 5 45 so they've literally been here all day so we got out of the house and done some stuff today um, Kelly had violin today. She also had tutoring lesson at school, so which occurred to that. Um, and then Allie for her birthday back in January and Amy both wanted to get their nails done. We just did not go because that was like peak season. Like there was a lot of cases of COVID here. So we decided to wait. So today was the day we went, we got our nails done. I just went with the white powder dip. Can't get it to focus. Um, Allie got, it's really pretty. I'll show you that later. She's got little designs on her fingernails. And then Amy went with this. It's pink and it's got little puppy dog prints on it. But we've got everything sitting out on the counter over there. I'm about to put it back where it belongs over here on this counter. Um, Cause they're all done with our backsplash. I was thinking it was gonna take two days, but it only took one day. I'm gonna show you how it turned out. I love it, it's beautiful. They even put like half inch of the ledge on our windowsill. I'm gonna show it to you. All right, so here it is starting up here on this side. I just love, love how it turned out. It's better than what I had even imagined to be. I've always wanted the white backsplash. Um, so we were finally able to do it. I'm very thankful it matches our white cabinets So it just goes all the way up under our, our window and they added this like half inch little window sill here Which is nice because I'll be able to fit more stuff on here now, but that's there and it's just pretty It's simple, but it's pretty and we didn't go to the sides We stayed on that one wall right there, which is perfect I don't think it really needed to be on the side so that is how it turned out and I'm loving it. So since it's so late, we have a quick and easy dinner tonight, which is tater tots and uh, fish sticks tonight. <laughs> Haley is over here in her high chair. She had her first little snack, these little teethers. What? I got the strawberry apple spinach and she loved these things. Loved them, did good with them too. So while I was out, I stopped by Ingles. I put most of it up already. Got lots of produce, lots of fruits and veggies. And these are the things that um, don't have to go in the fridge. So I need to go ahead and put these things away. But I just got apples and raspberries and bananas and um, some lettuce and just different things. Now it's time to get all of this put away so we can eat dinner at the table. But those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Good job. All right, so it's lunch time now. The kids are snacking on some veggies real quick while I make some lunch. Veggies. We got the table to clean off from all of our school. Mama, have some more soap on it. And you want some more salt on your cauliflower? All right, so the kids are eating their lunch and I just made myself, we have some leftover rotisserie chicken in the fridge, so I heated some of that up in the pan, put some bell pepper on it and then heated this wrap up. Oh, it's so good. It's just chicken and bell peppers. All right, so it is the next day now. It is actually, what time is it? It's after one. So we're finished up with school, finished up with lunch. We are finally getting around to cleaning right now. The girls are helping me pick up their colored pencils and papers and put those away. I got the lunch stuff cleared off the table. Now I'm trying to clean off the kitchen counter. Still got to get the living room clean. I already got laundry started. The three oldest girls are at school, but they get out at three. So I'm going to try to get all of this done before we have to go pick them up. I've actually already started looking to, um, into some curriculum for next year. When we got done with school, I sat down for a few minutes on the computer. And I was just kind of looking over stuff for next year because... Y'all know this is the first year that we've ever tried sending our three oldest to school and it's not like public school where they're five days a week. It is like a Christian school that's two days a week, but it still has involved a lot of their time. Like even when they're home those three days, they are busy with homework. Like those three days are completely busy with schoolwork. So, so we're definitely praying about what to do next year. I miss the dynamic of our family being at home all together learning like a, a way of lifestyle kind of learning i just so miss that i miss them getting in the kitchen learning new things and there's just a lot that we're not doing this year that we've always done because of them just being so busy with school so we are going to take the summer to for short sure, pray about next year and um decide what we're going to do but anyway i was looking at curriculum and i'm pretty sure that i'm going to use the becca next year i've been using the becca um, most of this year this year for the kids and 
love it. I mean, absolutely love it. I'm doing it for language arts, social studies, uh, Bethany's phonics, Holly's language. I think that's it. For math, I'm still doing teaching textbooks. And for the little kids, Bob Jones. And science with master books. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna switch everything over to Abeka next year except math and I wanna stick with teaching textbooks on that for third grade and up. So anyway, I know that was a lot, but I've just been thinking this morning about next year and what to do and yeah. I think about bringing my kiddos back home and us doing what we've always done and I just want to follow the Lord's direction on that. But anyway, I need to get back to cleaning and stop chit chatting. The kids are the kids got distracted and they quit picking up color pencils and now they're coloring. So, oh, and I see Millie. She's waking up from her nap. Good afternoon, darling. <laughs> Are you getting woke up with lots of loving? Huh? Yeah. And Amy is taking a few minutes over here to play a game. What is this game called? Um, Subway Paw Patrol. Subway Paw Patrol. She's playing that on the tablet for a minute. And Bethany and Natalie are coloring. So we just checked the mail and I have to show you what just came in the mail. I ordered this about two weeks ago. It is so cute. It says, look who's three, Everly. And it's got the Minnie Mouse with a three on it. She wants a Minnie Mouse party. So I found this shirt and I was like, that is so stinking cute for her to wear. On her third birthday, and we'll do a Minnie Mouse theme. We usually don't do like huge parties when they're this little. It'll probably honestly just us, but we still make it as special as we can. So she's gonna be so excited about her little shirt. And then we gotta order her some Minnie Mouse things, her little nose. But anyway, I just wanted to show y'all that. It's just so cute. If you're wondering where I got it from, I just looked on Etsy and searched birthday girl shirts and found this one with a Minnie Mouse on it and ordered it for her. I think I ordered it, I wanna say about two weeks ago. It's just adorable. All right, so we're cooking dinner now. We're having chicken teriyaki. Actually, Josh took over dinner. He's doing the chicken teriyaki. Mm. I've been cleaning the um, kitchen. What? Chicken stir fry. Oh yeah. You said teriyaki sauce, that made me think teriyaki. Chicken stir fry. Callie went to the basement storage to look for teriyaki sauce though because we didn't have what? What did you need at first? Uh, Soy sauce. No, I needed some uh, stir fry sauce. Yeah, we didn't have that, but so now we're looking for teriyaki sauce. Yeah. It smells so good. Josh said he can't smell it, but it smells really good in here. Can't smell nothing. Really good. I can barely even taste my food. That's why it's terrible. I love food, mm -hmm. and I can't taste my food. Tomorrow is Friday, and I think if it's dry enough, Josh is going to try and move our chicken coop tomorrow. He was out there tonight looking around. I think he's going to try to move it closer to the house so it's easier for the kids or me or whoever to go out and collect the eggs and to give them food and water and all of that stuff. So um, I think tomorrow, if it's dry enough, he may try and move that. I don't know yet. We were talking about moving some stuff around. But yeah, that may be the plans for tomorrow or Saturday. But anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog out here. I thank y'all so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you in the comments. Bye. Mm -hmm.